So let me draw an arbitrary boundary here. I'm just going to make a diamond. It could be anything you want it to be, but I'm going to do a diamond. And the reason why we're going to worry about bouncing the ship off a diamond is because it gives us a lot of good practice with vector dot products. And in games, we're constantly using dot products. It's important to get comfortable with dot products. They sound scary because they sound abstract dot products. But uh, they're, they're really actually not that scary. And, and we need to get comfortable using them. I'm going to draw our con Cartesian grid here. Again, and ideally it would have gone through the center of the ship, but hopefully you get the idea. Remember these coordinates here. This is positive x, negative x. This is positive y, negative y. So the coordinate of this vertex here is 1 in the x, 0 in the y. And then this one right here, this is 0 in the x, but 1 in the y. Okay, and the reason why I want these vertices is I want to be able to connect them. I want to tell OpenGL, connect these vertices for me. All right, let's draw this vertex out here. And this is going to be negative 1 in the x and 0 in the y. And then last but not least, this is going to be 0 in the x, but negative 1 in the y. So we need four more verts. Remember, we did the vertices for the ship, and then we connected them. Well, we need four for the boundaries. And there's various ways we can do that. I think I'm going to do it the most straightforward way, just for your learning purposes, and then we can make it more advanced later. Remember, we have these verts here, and these are the ones for the ship. I'm going to control H on this, and let's replace verts with ship verts. Match case, match whole word, that's important. And then we're going to make another vector. 3D, uh, we'll call it boundary verts. Array gets like this. And get rid of that control L there. And we need to give it some vectors. So I'm just going to grab this, paste it right here, and try to keep consistent with the formatting here. I guess I wasn't really as consistent up there. I want everything to have a plus or minus symbol and to have at least two digits for the floating point number. So there we go. And we need four of these. Okay, we'll start with Y here at a positive one. And then we'll go to the negative X coordinate here. Let me just draw the coordinates again like so. So here's 0, 1, and then negative 1, 0. And we're going to go that way. And then the one down here, this will be 0, negative 1. Okay, let's fill that in. So 0, and then a negative 1 here. So then that will be this line right there. And then this vertice out here will be a 1, 0, like so. And we'll connect that like that. And then later we'll worry about connecting that. So let's put a positive 1, uh, 0, like so. So we have boundary verts. We probably want to, like we did here with the ship verts, we want to store the number of boundary verts. But I'm going to control H on num verts and call this uh, num ship verts, replace all, and then control L, control V, V, we're going to say number uh, boundary verts, ah, control shift U to uppercase that, and it's going to be size of boundary verts divided by the size of one of the boundary verts. So again, this, this takes the size of the entire array, since this is a compile time static array, not not defined dynamically with a new, and it's not a pointer, it's a compile time array, and the compiler knows the size of this. It's four vectors, and each vector is three floats, and a float is four bytes each. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve times four bytes each. So, twelve floats, four bytes per float would make forty-eight bytes. So, anyway. That'll be 48, but then we divide that by the size of one of the vectors here, which is 3 times 4 is 12, and that'll give us 4. Anyway, so this is a typical way to get a size of a compile time array. Uh, I think that's probably good. Now, 
when we do the initialize GL, we we did a lot of OpenGL code here, and I, I actually didn't explain it. I remember I just said, here's a bunch of OpenGL code, just get used to it, type it in, and I'll explain it later. Well, it's probably time to explain it. So I, I think I'm going to stop the video here and move on to the next video and talk about OpenGL, just basic. We need to create buffers. We need to send data down to the buffers. We did it before. I didn't tell you what we were doing, but we're going to do it again, and this time I'm actually going to explain it in the next set of videos.